Right, here we go, guys. Okay, so now we're gonna go through just two methods, uh, actual methods on column. So I'm using 50 uh, millimeter uh, C18 columns, so the shorter C18 columns. My C18 method is five minutes. I try to keep all my methods at five minutes. Uh, formic acid to seed and nitrile is kind of the standard way to do it. Uh, the faster you have your methods, I think five minutes is perfect. Unless you have tons and tons of stuff, you can go like 15 uh, to 30 minutes. Uh, but that, that's usually plenty, plenty of time. All right, so it does take a little bit of time when you go and edit your method to open up the inlet file here, especially if it's in the middle of the injection. So that's what we're waiting for here. So just don't be alarmed if it takes a long time to get this inlet manager up and it's frozen. Just be patient. 20, 30 seconds and you'll be good. Okay, so this is my C18 method and then this is the way my generic C18 method looks. It's as blocky as you could possibly get. It's just like straight up, then up to 95% and then drops off a cliff and goes and equilibrates itself. You can do way better than this. Like, it, this is a really, really rookie gradient. A lot of times I'd like to run it out at like 3% B and get it to really stick to the column for half a minute and then go up nice and then come back and then come back down nicely as well, not just like a step off a cliff. But if you're doing quick and dirty, this is a good one. This is what we've been running. Um, you could do better than this, but. Uh, notice in the, uh, to get it to drop off a cliff like that, you need to use an 11 on the curve. Notice that we're using 11s on the curve. Uh, but also notice that I am still using this flow stop, so 0 0.05 mils a minute. Uh, the main method's being run at 0.4 mils a minute, so at the very end of the method, I'm lowering the flow rate down uh, so you don't waste solvent. Uh, nothing else really interesting going on in these methods. Uh, just a sample and a column manager. The uh, injection wash cycles, I have reduced in all of my sample organizers, uh, the sample auto sample, I've just done a pre-injection wash of two seconds. No post-injection wash. Uh, just keeping things really simple. All right, so one more method. Let's look at one more method. If you don't close the inlet file manager, that doesn't take as long to open. So then I'm gonna look at a five minute, this is on a, what's called a fennel hexyl column. So it's a hexyl with a fennel ring at the end. It's good for pie pie stacking, especially for sugars and acids and fennel rings and things like that. Um, I've even found it works pretty well for peptides, to tell you the truth. Uh, on this one, we're doing a really shallow gradient because sugars are really, really polar. And so uh, the fennel hexyl is nice because this new material, you can start out at 100% water. So we're starting at 100%, 0.1% formic acid in water. Uh, then we're doing a nice shallow ramp up the cost of three minutes here. Uh, up to 80% uh, water, so 20% acetonitrile. And then we're washing off the column really fast. And then, hey, it looks like I designed a nice method here. This is a nice shallow return. So it's kind of like a, a slope of three uh, instead of an 11 cliff jump. But yeah, so um, pretty, pretty nice method. And again, same kind of thing, flow rate drop at the end. So those are the two methods uh, that we're going to be using for all these labs, uh, along with the direct injection. 